hi guys my name is David and uh, today I'm going to show you how to tag an mp3 or an audio file and what is tagging uh, tagging is a process in which you fill in the information in an audio file or an mp3 information like the name of the song the artist the track number the lyrics and uh, the artwork and the basic information which goes in an mp3 or an audio file let's take an example uh, like you download a song from the internet or you uh, took a song from your friend while you're listening to your friend's uh, collect music collection you like one song and uh, you took a song from your friend you're playing the song on a computer but your application does not display any information like the name of the artist or the song the genre or the album or basically it just shows the time and uh, whatever is the file name now that is an unknown song now how do you fill in that that missing information for example uh, of a good s a good uh, mp3 I have your uh, four mp3s I mean four audio files of here different audio formats uh, which are not having any information basically it just says track one and that's it I do not know what these songs are but I like the tune and that's why I have them on my computer now a fully uh, filled information in an mp3 will look like this when I'm playing a song for example I'm playing this song uh, seven days in sunny June and this is showing all the information the title the artist the album uh, name track number from whether it's from disc one disc two the album artist uh, I can read the song composer and all that and basically it is just showing all the information uh, if you play this song which I'm playing right now in your iPod or iPhone it will also give you all this information and you'll be able to track down uh, in from your music collection this particular song very easily now what if you want to go to a particular track which you love but the name of the track or the name of the song it is just saying track one track two or something other name which is given uh, this will happen when you take a song from your friend sometimes or from the internet most of the times from the internet now I'm trying to play this song over here it, it is not showing the actual information with where it is supposed to show it is just saying track one and that's it it is playing the uh, sound from it now how do you fill in this information basically there are two ways of doing that uh, that is filling in the information automatically and manually before we go in and uh, learn how to fill in this information like uh, the tagging how to tag the mp3 or the audio file we must first understand where this information is stored this information is stored in two containers basically uh, the name of the containers are id 3v1 and id 3v2 these are the containers which will be there in every single audio file that you have on a computer or any audio file basically this will hold all the information of the artist the album uh, the year the track number and all that and if this container is empty that's when you have an unknown song for example I have a over here an example of a uh, properly uh, tagged and uh, fully filled information in a particular song it is showing all the information uh, in the ID 3 v1 and ID 3 v2 all the uh, necessary information that will make the audio file completely uh, a complete let's say complete so that there is no problem in when you're trying to track down the uh, particular uh, sound or particular audio file that you're looking for okay now this is the information which is actually filled in now when I'm playing that song on my screen here so minimize and let's go and view this information basically this does not hold any information there is the container is empty so the application is not trying to read the container it is not showing the containers the ID 3 uh, v2 and v1 so basically it's nothing is there. Now how do you fill this information like I said there are two ways uh, the automatic way and the manual way let's try to the automatic way first uh, let me try to stop this here and uh, remove this one okay let me add these four audio files here now all of these four audio files the information is missing none of these files have any information 
and I've I've picked uh, three different formats here like the mp3 uh, FLAC and the uh, WMA format okay now let's see how to do that basically all you need is the internet connection and Winamp let's select all the audio tracks by doing a control A do a right click on it and uh, let me take it here okay uh, let's try to yeah let's do a right click on it okay and go to auto tag when you click on that option this window will open up okay now the internet connection should be on by this time now okay now let's do that again let's do that slowly uh, do a right click go to send to and select this option auto tag okay this window will open up it will quickly look the information on the internet and it will say accessing grace node media database and when it's done this will go um, and this will show unsure if you have a song which is basically track one track two track and all that which does not hold any information in the containers okay it will just show unsure when it's done if it is a properly uh, if it is sure about the information it will show done and it will show a checkbox a check on the checkbox now I have these uh, four files so let's see uh, when I click on the first one it says the old information is not there basically there was nothing in it the new information is uh, this is a song by Metallica seek and destroy live version track 10 uh, uh, speed metal album and all the basic information that your particular application needs uh, in order to identify the song now I'm sure about this I'm also sure about this the Lincoln Park it works on FLAC also it's Iron Man, Black Sabbath, okay. Every information is filled properly, even uh, along with the disc number. If you have a two disc uh, a song from the second disc, it will also show you here uh, one uh, of second and the track number also, uh, the beat rate and the uh, year publisher and all that. So, also goes for the wave, also. So, this is by Bon Jovi, okay information is right now let's click on apply now this information is filled it's ready to blow okay let's try to play one of these songs okay here we go now my Winamp is playing this song and it is basically showing all the information is saying track number 10 let's say it's still my track name of which I want to like track down in my collection it still says track one uh, in order to do that you need tag scanner I'll just show you what that is let's try to see if all the songs are proper okay um, Linkin Park that's true Black Sabbath all the information is right there's my Bon Jovi file okay the information is right so let's try to do a right click on one of these remember the previous uh, while ago the ID uh, 3v1 and v2 were not even uh, shown by the application now it is showing uh, all the basic information uh, we see in ID 3 uh, v1 it's showing all the information even in v2 now we done that now how to I mean you can just manually do it like for example you just type in bond Jovi and but it's pretty much like difficult to do this manually now how to uh, how to like automatically do this for a large collection how to name your audio collection uh, according to the title of the song or the album uh, or whatever is your I is your uh, preference well in that case you need a uh, software called tag scanner it's a uh, freeware you can download this from the internet all you have to go to is google.com type in tag scanner you have to download dot cnet it's a free source so click on that uh, 1.87 mb file download and install it's free of virus there's nothing wrong with it it's a very stable software work works with all uh, Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7, 64, and 32 bit. Okay, now when you open the uh, after you install and when you open Tag Scan, it will look like this. Now, 
let just uh, let me just add these four songs to this okay you can drag and drop like this all together okay and uh, you can basically can browse and just look at the song from here also now remember that uh, we just tagged using the uh, Winamp we just tagged our uh, four uh, four songs and it is showing all the information okay mm, it is also giving you all the information okay now let's see how to rename them all together now let me show you only one I click on rename over here and I basically select here the format in which I want to name the file I want to name it as per the name of the uh, song that is the title of the song or I can do it uh, either by the artist like I click on artist over here and I just uh, do a space do a dash and do it this it'll just show you the example here how the name will look the preview of how the name will look after you just rename the song uh, so right now we just do this okay and we just click on rename it says okay done below it says 100 percent let me go back to tag editor minimize this and here's the song okay let me stop this and here's the song now let's do this for all the files at once drag and select all go to music rename do this rename and okay it shows okay and here we have all these songs been renamed properly now these are probably tag songs there will be no problem for me to look for these songs in my computer uh, search for them by the name or by the name of the artist now tag scanner comes with different features I'll just show you that in another video uh, how to use tag scanner it's a very good software uh, if you, you can do this uh, uh, manually you can also tag your mp3s or audio files you can also uh, do it automatically using the internet connection even also you can download uh, the artwork which the Vinamp does not offer I mean it does offer but it's a very complicated process I just want, don't want to show you that but it will also download the artwork at the same time and fill in the information for multiple files if you have 200 to 300 songs and you want to do this for all the songs you can do that but remember these songs have to be at least the name of the artist and the name of the song uh, should be there in the information panel or the and album if you have this information you can search this using the tag scanner I'll just show you that in a later um, in a, another video so check out that video um, tagging your mp3s using tag scanner basically as if for now there's uh, that's about it so we learned how to basically tag a song using Winamp which is also a free source to play your audio files and uh, to manage your music collection okay thank you for watching uh, stay tuned